And while all eyes are focused on Abe's statement, President Park has once again urged the Japanese government to acknowledge its wartime history. Our Park ji tells us more. President Park Geun-hye says she hopes Japan will take a mature stance on its wartime history for a fresh start on relations with its neighbors. The president made the comment during a regular meeting with her senior secretaries Monday. She also offered her condolences to the family of a woman who passed away last Saturday in the U.S. and who was a survivor of Japan's wartime sexual slavery program. The president expressed her sorrow and apologized for not being able to heal the wounds of history for the 93-year-old and for failing to restore her honor and dignity. President Park also expressed concern that this year, which marks the 70th anniversary of Korea's liberation from Japan's colonial rule, will be the last chance to resolve the matter. Eight women who were enslaved by Japan during wartime have passed away in this year alone, leaving only 47 alive out of the 238 women registered by the government. Analysts see the president's comments as another attempt to pressure Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to include an apology in an upcoming statement to mark the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II. Meanwhile, the president's office also said it's reviewing whether President Park should attend an event in China on September 3rd, marking the anniversary. The president's office has denied Japanese media reports that U.S. officials asked the Korean leader not to attend the ceremonies, calling them groundless. The White House has also denied the report. On Sunday, Japan's Kyoto News reported Washington made the request through a diplomatic channel. The president's office is expected to make a decision after further deliberation and said it would take into account what Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says in his statement expected on Friday. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.